Steps to performing a manual blood pressure. First, you wanna place the blood pressure cuff on the upper arm. Two fingers should fit, but be very snug underneath the cuff. You don't wanna place the cuff over clothing. It should be on the patient's bare skin. Then you place the diaphragm of the stethoscope over the brachial artery, which is located here. But before we do any of this, we need to choose the appropriate size cuff because if it's too small or tight, we may get a false high reading. You can remember this by the memory trick. If the cuff is too small, numbers are too tall. And if the cuff is too large or loose, we may get a false low reading. You can remember this by the memory trick, too loose, think false low. Then you will inflate the cuff 30 millimeters of mercury above the patient's normal systolic. Then you will slowly deflate the cuff and listen for a sound almost like a loud pulse. The first sound you hear is the top number or the systolic pressure. And the last clear sound you hear is the bottom number or the diastolic pressure. After you hear the last sounds, you can completely deflate the cuff and remove it from the patient's arm. So in this case, our reading was 112 over 72. To interpret the reading, we can use the American Heart Association blood pressure categories, which looks like this. That's all for obtaining a blood pressure. Happy studying, future nurses.